Thanksgiving, everybody. This is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Uh, today's cook will be a smoked ham, right? Today I will show you how I inject my ham, um, what I use in it. Um, I use various methods, or uh, different flavors rather, not methods. Same thing, injecting. There ain't no, ain't no, ain't no one different way to uh, inject the ham um, that will make it right or wrong, as long as you inject all the, all the decent body parts. Um, but yeah. We're going to go in this kitchen, man. We're going to pull out this ham that's been thawed out. Uh, it's been sitting in the refrigerator chilling. It's ready to go, man. So stick with me, man. We're going to go do the thing, man. Once again, happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Hope you're enjoying your day and uh, doing the same thing I'm doing. See you in a minute in the kitchen. Peace. All right, YouTube. We back. As you can see, I have a turkey. Uh, Seven-pound turkey. Using my famous Cajun Injection Honey Bacon Barbecue. Get that from uh, Gandon Mountain. Try it, man. It's the bomb. And obviously, the Cajun Injection Needle. All right. Easy day. So all I'm going to do, I'll be back in a minute. All I'm going to do is take this out, out of the wrapping, stick it in a bowl, and just inject it. No other seasoning whatsoever. Uh, once the ham gets to a certain level, and I'll talk about that later. We'll use some pineapples on it to dress it up, whatnot, make it look good. Use some pineapple juice in the bottom, whatnot. But that'll be later on. So I'll be back in a minute once I uh, take this out and stick it in the bowl. All right, you two, we back. And uh, injection is simple, right? Just take the top off, obviously. Uh, clean this. You definitely want to clean your uh, injector. And you really just... Simple man, you just do it like somebody that's about to uh, take your blood. Right? I know you've seen that. And you just stick it in, inject it in the cavity. I just inject until I see it squirting out of somewhere. If not, it'll go to full dosage. There you go. I just do that throughout, throughout the turkey. So, here's a note. When you inject the turkey, people say don't put a lot of holes in it. So I'm going to show you what a lot of people recommend. They recommend you inject like this. You know, pull it out a little bit, do a different angle. Reason, reason for that? Woo! Wow. All right. Got to clean that up real quick before the wife come here and uh, get me. But uh, the reason for that is uh, they don't want a lot of holes in it because when you're cooking your meat, you want whatever your injection is to stay in the meat. However, if you take a piece of meat and put it in the refrigerator, guess what happened to them holes? Them pores close up, right? Kind of like taking a cold shower, pores close up, take a hot shower, pores open up, same thing with meat. The protein in the meat is what absorbs all of the, uh, your injection or whatever you uh, put in it. So just keep that in mind. So I'm not gonna have you sit here and watch me inject the whole thing. I see you at the grill with Gertie. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. B. And my temp is ooh, about 325 on my Smoky Mountain Weber. I'm about to put this ham on here for Thanksgiving. So, I'm going to take it out of this. Look at the injection just dripping. Just sit it right on top. Easy day, like clockwork. Put it back on. I'm going to go from there. See y'all in about two hours when I uh, put it in a little foil and put the uh, pineapples on it. Alright, you two, we back. Uh, Got to go ahead and take this ham and transfer him to uh, a pan and show you what I do next. Remember about safety, man. These damn food is hot. You don't think 225 is uh, hot until you get 225 on your hand. You see that? Look at, look at succulent. Small pan, small aluminum pans fit perfectly on the 18 and a half inch uh, Smoky Mountain Weber. Uh, if you think about getting one of those or whatnot. Like I said, this is about a seven pound ham. Got my handy dandy pineapple. 
juice on the bottom. I'm going to just dump them off and then take my toothpicks. And use them to uh, stick directly on the meat somewhere. Simple as that. Pretty easy. It's more decorated than anything because I don't really eat the pineapple. That's it for that. Uh, I'll be back in a second. All right, I'm back. Got some uh, seven up to go in the pan, right? To make me a kind of like a lather or whatnot. You don't want to put too much. That's enough to uh, keep the bottom uh, bottom moist enough, so you don't have to keep taking the top off. And then I'm just gonna wrap it. Easy day. Trust me, you'll thank me, or you won't thank me. But your family will thank you when it's uh, time to eat. Now hurry up because it's hot, like I said. The beauty of these uh, Smoky Mountain Weavers, man, they'll go for 24 hours. If you know how to manage that fire, or you position your charcoal, uh, using the minion method, these, these things will cook for 24 hours at the same tip, man. It's like an oven, it's like cheese. So one more piece on there, and then uh, I'll see you back and show you the done product. What's up, YouTube? It's the time to go and show y'all what this turkey look like. I mean, this ham. I'm thinking about eating some turkey. As you can see, my fry over there going. Thanksgiving feast over here. Yes, sir. Show you what it looked like. Remember, there was seven up with pineapples on it. Make it extra tender. All I do is pour it off at the end and let everybody go for what they know. Let's uh, give y'all a close up of how we doing it around right here. Yeah, there we go. Anyway. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. From your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Enjoy.